Hi everyone, my name is Jeff Nataro and I'm the director of the Global Services Engineering team with NetBrain. And I'm here today in our immersion training center at our headquarters in Burlington, Massachusetts. If you have our application assurance module, you already know that one of the key features is the ability to integrate AAM with your daily system benchmark, providing automated execution of your critical application and network paths. However, in a typical customer environment, that system benchmark task only executes once a day. So what happens if you want those paths to be executed more frequently so you can try and catch changes in your network traffic before your users do? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you AAM owners a quick and easy NetBrain hack to create a custom benchmark task to execute those critical paths more often. Let's check it out. From the end user desktop, go into the upper right corner of the screen, click on the current domain name, then open the domain management interface so that we can create our customized benchmark task. With the domain management interface displayed, click on Schedule Task, then Add Benchmark Task to start the Benchmark Task Creation Wizard. I'll give this customized benchmark task an appropriate name, an optional description, and specify an hourly execution. In the device scope, we want to ensure that we're inclusive of all devices discovered in the system. If any of your known paths include API access devices or platforms like Cisco ACI, Amazon AWS, Versa, or others, ensure that all API sources are selected here as well. In Retrieve Live Data, we're going to uncheck everything except routing tables to ensure that we have the current configured routing on each device. Next, we can skip down to Additional Operations After Benchmark and then scroll down to the section labeled Application Verification. First, I'll enable the integration between the AAM module and this custom benchmark task, then click on Add Application and Path. In the resulting dialog, we can select any and all paths that are must-have for hourly execution. I'll go ahead and select all that are relevant to voice and video, then click OK to add them to the benchmark task. If your NetBrain system is integrated with your mail server, which we'll cover in a separate video, we can click on the Application Verification Settings to configure in-platform alerting, email delivery on path errors, and even trigger some of our no-code intent-based automation if it's available. I'll type in my own email address here. Our last stop in the tax creation wizard is Plugins. Here, we'll need to disable any of the built-in system plugins that are normally executed since we don't really need them. And with that, we're ready to click Submit. With our customized benchmark task created, it will automatically start execution on its own within the next hour. But let's go ahead and run our new task so that I can show you the post-task behavior in the Application Manager. So we'll right-click, and then click Run Now. Following successful execution of the benchmark task, from our end user desktop again, go to the tic-tac-toe dots in the upper left corner of the screen, then open up the Application Manager. In the Application Manager, we can see all the configured applications, paths, intent-based automation results, and more which we'll cover in a separate video. What I want to call your attention to is the very last columns here that indicate how the pass was most recently executed. As you can see, these three paths were executed most recently by our newly created critical application benchmark task. Check back here in the application manager to add new critical application paths check on path execution history, set golden path result behavior, and much, much more. Since I configured my email address when setting up the paths in the benchmark task, I'll also be receiving an email like this every time my customized benchmark task executes. This email provides a summary of the most recent execution status, including all successful paths, any execution failures, and most importantly, any paths that are changed since the last time the task was executed or not aligned with the user-defined golden path. 
Scrolling down the email body, we get a full report on each path and even an Excel file attachment that contains the same information for independent processing and archiving. Now, if you'll excuse me, after looking at these results, I think I need to go check the network because one of my paths, while successful, is different than the golden path result I configured, so there may have been a failure or failover of some sort in my network. Good thing I have NetBrain to help me track it down. Now that I've shown you how to create a customized benchmark task for path execution, I challenge you to start thinking about your own critical application and network paths to see how great it would be for NetBrain to not only execute, but validate these paths more frequently with only a few mouse clicks. If you found this helpful, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the NetBrain YouTube channel. You'll automatically be notified when we release more videos like these to help you get the most out of your NetBrain platform. If you have questions, comments, or ideas for future videos, be sure to leave a comment below. Don't forget to visit us at www.netbrain.com to learn about our latest no-code automation innovations, and we'll see you next time.